Hey guys, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for ongoing updates on this channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Vlogs by Neo. This is FL Studio tutorial specially brought to you all the way from Dubai. I'll be uh, making the entire track. Last week uh, we did uh, the beat making tutorial on how to make a house beat. We have not completely done it yet. As I told you, we will be improvising this beat more. So uh, let's have a listen to this. What, we, what did we do last week? Alright, so we did a, a little bit of progression at the end of the 8th bar and uh, now usually when I create beat, I start to create at least 5 or 6 uh, instruments for on the drums. Then after that, uh, first thing what I'll try to do is to make a bass line. Now, to make a bass line, you should actually have a little bit of knowledge on uh, the chords and scales. If you don't have any idea about chords and scales, please I would request you to go back to one of my channels which is Logic Beats in which I'm explaining about the chords and scales uh, or else you can go on my playlist where I have posted about um, how to, uh, the understanding of chords and scales. Um, then come back and later you'll understand whatever I'm teaching it will be easy for you to you know follow this tutorial. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to make um, if you remember on the last tutorial I told you I'm making I'm very particular about renaming and coloring all my tracks. So right now I'm going to make I'm going to create one new pattern first and I'm going to make this as a base. So let's take a, a base. Yeah. Then I'm going over my channel rack and I'm going to add one instrument. Okay, in this I'm going to take a synthesizer which is basically uh, used uh, usually by a lot of producers which is known as Nexus. Um, if you don't have Nexus, not a problem. You can take uh, Citrus which is the, uh, you know, factory uh, installed uh, so synthesizer and you can take any baseline and try to create your own. So I'm taking Nexus. You can download Nexus from their website. Uh, Okay, so in this I'm taking a bass line which is like bass and I'm just trying to load the first one first to check how it sounds like. And I'm going to put this now, route this to channel number 6 which is on my mixer. So when I come to my mixer it's already highlighted because I sent, I routed my that instrument to channel number 6. So I'm going to rename this to bass. So here you go, you got the bass here. So all my uh, signal, which is from here, will be routed to here, okay? Uh, now, on this pattern, I have to make a bass line. So I'm just going to rename this as well uh, to bass, yeah. Now right click and uh, piano roll. Now in this piano roll, we're going to create um, our bass line. Bass usually follows the rhythmic pattern, so it's up to you how you want to make it a bit more melodic and how it should sound. Trust me, bass line is the main core of any music, which actually gives us a real tight uh, feel to it. And, uh, you know, it's en it energizes the entire song. So you have to be very particular when you select uh, the instrument or do your sound design uh, whenever you're designing your music or song. So let's go and uh, let me see how does that instrument sound so so what i took was attack bass and i'm just trying to yeah i like this on the fourth octave if i go down more yeah, that's also good yeah now i was as you have, you must have noticed I'm, I'm actually taking the note a because i i my favorite chord is a minor and I really love creating something starting with A minor always. And um, that's me. As I told you, it's your sound. Whenever you design something, try to keep your sound yours. Because next time when you have to search for that bass, you don't have to take different, different kinds of bass every time. People know you through your sound. That's why it's, that's why it's known as branding. So when you brand your sound, people over there who's listening to you, they'll understand, oh yeah, this is this particular DJ or the producer like Armin Van Buren or Tiesto, they have their own particular synth lines. They design their sounds and, you know, they take a lot of uh, efforts to do that. Okay, so let's go. 
and create some uh, bass line. Uh, I'm gonna turn on my metronome and I'm gonna make on A. So let me take the first note, that's A. Then, so I'm gonna create something. So, okay, sorry, it should be in the pattern mode. I think there's some clicks and pop sound which is coming up from my um, system right now. I've still not configured it properly. As you can see, I got a new microphone and, um, you know, the entire setup because I thought I should give you guys a better sound quality whenever I'm speaking to you. Last tutorial, I know I was just talking through my normal uh, mobile headphone and it was not that good. So I invested some money to give you guys a, a better quality, to teach you guys better quality in a, in a good sound so you can understand me much better. Um, but I'll fix this uh, sound and clicks. I think it is the ASIO drivers or the, you know, um, there is some lagging going on. So that's the reason. Anyways, um, the tutorial should go on, the show should go on. So I've made an A bass line, which I kind of like it. I'm just going to continue this again. So control and just drag that copies the entire thing and shift and drag that copies it. So. Okay, now after A, I want to see what I can put now. The progression, this is known as a progression from one chord to another chord. So I've taken the bass line as A. I took the, the first note of the A minor, that is A, C, E, E is A minor. I took A. Now I'm going to take F major. Yeah, let me try F major. Okay, I can copy this as well. I'm going to bring it down here then bring that to F. So F major is F A C. So I'm just taking the F note. Okay, then the last fourth bar, I want it as G. So let's have a listen to this. Sounds good, sounds good, but uh, I am you know, it, it's going very uh, stagnant, um, very uniform. I want to give some changes in between. So let me see. I can take this to C maybe and try how it sounds. Yeah, see, I just changed one note and it sounds really good. So let me bring that also to C. Now F, I'll bring that to maybe A. So the G major is G, B, D. So let's try that. Yeah, from there, I want to give one note here extra. So that's my end of the fourth bar. So I want to give a progression. So it should sound a bit different that, okay, I'm going back to the A minor chord. So sounds good. That's good for me. I'm going to stop this right now. I think I'm not happy with the sound, popping sound, which is coming from uh, the system. So I'm going to pause this and re-record the balance part because I think I otherwise have to do a lot of editing. And I'll come back to you guys. Subscribe now to get notified for part two.